Okay, calculus lesson. This is the second part of the implicit differentiation. Now, we did tangent lines before. This is going to be a lot harder and a lot more work. So look, implicit differentiation is long. It's time consuming. It's a pain in the neck. Now, you're going to have to do that within another problem. In the other lesson, all you had to do was find dy dx. I mean, all you had to do. <laughs> it take forever, but... So you were solving for dy dx, and, you know, you were done. Here, though, you're going to have to figure out the derivative of this. Remember, tangent line looks like this. where m is the slope of the tangent line. And remember how you found that. The slope of the tangent line is the derivative evaluated at a point. Now, this derivative is very complicated because it's got x's and y's in it. So you have no choice but to do that derivative implicitly. So you have to use implicit differentiation to take that derivative, then plug the number in, then you have m. <laughs> then you can figure out what the b is. So this this, this problem is going to involve a lot of work. What I'm going to do before I work this example is I'm going to write all the steps out, nice, clear, concise. Then I'm going to go through this example nice and slow, and then that'll be it. Okay, so this is the outline of steps you're going to follow to do these problems. Again, these, these problems are not trivial. They're going to take you a long time to do, but, you know, you have to do it. So this problem is find the equation of a tangent line. Now, the difficulty is that the equation you are given is going to have x's and y's. So you have no choice but to do the derivative implicitly. So you're going to take the derivative with respect to x of both sides, okay, of whatever they gave you. After you do that, you solve for dy dx, just like you did. So remember how you do implicit. When you take the derivative of x, you do it normal. When you take the derivative of y, you do it normal, and you multiply by dy dx. So you're going to get dy dx as you get them on the left or the right. Get them on one side and solve. This is where you would be done. <laughs> this is where you would done at the other lesson. Unfortunately, you have a lot more to do, but it's not that bad. Once you have the derivative, the derivative, remember, the derivative tells you slopes of tangent lines at any given point. So once you have your derivative, you're going to plug the point they gave you. They're going to give you an x and a y. They have to give you x and y. They can't just give you x and make you solve for y, okay? That's the whole point. It's too complicated. So you plug your x and y into your derivative, dy dx is your derivative, that will give you m, m your slope, your slope of the tangent line. And then it's over. I mean, at this point, it's just basic arithmetic. Now, you're given x and y, you solve for m in step three, you plug in the m, you plug in the x, you plug in the y, and you solve for b. And then you are done. Just remember to write the equation of the line at the end, once you know all the values. So the key step is here. If you do step two wrong, when you plug into that derivative, you're going to get the wrong slope. The whole thing is shot. You have to make absolutely certain that you do this step right. This is very important. You cannot destroy that step. These derivatives are easier to take. They're generally not going to have complex functions. They're usually going to be like x to the something, y to the something. Very basic functions. So it's not that bad to do. And again, when you plug in, you have to be very careful here. You have to watch your signs. You have to make sure you follow your order of operations correct. You have to be very careful when you get to this step as well, okay? So now I'm going to go back and work the example that I had on the board. We'll do it together, and then that'll be it. Okay, so here's the example. Find the equation of the tangent line 2. You have x squared minus y squared minus 5x plus 3y equals negative 2. If you were to plug x is 4 and y is 2 into this equation, you would get negative 2. So now I'm going to take the derivative of both sides. Because I do not have a tremendous amount of space, I'm just going to do it, okay? The derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of negative y squared is negative 2y dy dx. The derivative of negative 5x is negative 5. The derivative of positive 3y, careful, it's 3 dy dx. No! And the derivative of negative 2 is zero. Remember, you're taking the derivative with respect to x of both sides, every single term. If it's got an x, like normal. If it's got a y, you just throw on a dy dx. Constant, 
the derivative of that constant is zero. Now I'm gonna get all my dy dx's on one side and I'm gonna have everything else on the other side. Okay, so I'm setting it up so that I'm gonna put everything without a dy dx on the right. So on the left, now you can, you can skip this step, but I'm gonna write it. Ordinarily, if I was doing this myself, I would already have dy dx pulled out of the left side, but I won't do that now. You could also write five take away two x on that side. Now remember, anything that they have in common, you can factor out. That's the whole point of this. So take the dy dx and factor it out. And then divide. Now this is where you would be done when you were only solving for the derivative, this is where you stopped. Note, I could write these this way. It's up to you. It's the same thing. And remember, this is your M. Now, you're not done. All right? This, this is all preliminary. You have to do all this to get the slope. The problem is, find the equation of the tangent line. I haven't done that. I haven't even found the slope yet. I found a formula that will tell me the slope when I plug numbers into it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the point they gave me and I'm going to plug it into the derivative that I got. I have an x here and I have a y there. I'm going to plug them in and I'm going to evaluate it and that will tell me the m. Then I can do the mx plus b. So all this work you do is just to give you a formula that will give you the slope of the tangent line. So I'm going to clean up a little bit, and then I'm going to do that step. Okay, so I'm almost at the end here. I have my formula. I took the derivative of both sides with respect to x. I used implicit differentiation. I made myself an equation. I solved for dy dx. I got this formula. Now I'm going to plug x and y into this formula, which will tell me what the m is. And I made this one nice. Very often when you do this, you will get a fraction here. I rigged this one so that you don't, because I'm doing it. I want you to do the harder ones, as always. So you have 5 minus 8 on top, 3 take away 4 on the bottom. So over here, that's negative 3. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. That's my M. Almost over. So again, you took dy dx, you plug the number in, tells you the m. Then you write down mx plus b, well, my m is 3. Now I need to know what b is. So plug 4 for x and 2 for y. And you've done this. This is why we did it earlier, because you do this a lot. 3 times 4 is 12. Subtract 12. You get the b is negative 10. And remember the final step where I said done. You want to write your line down. So it's 3x take away 10. That is the equation of your tangent line. Okay, so quick summary. I took the derivative with respect to x of both sides. I solved for dy dx. That gives me a formula that tells me the slope of the tangent line. I then plug numbers into that formula and it gives me the actual slope at that point. Remember, the slope changes. If I had given you a different point, you get a different slope. The slope is always changing along the curve. Okay, so you found the slope of the tangent line. Plug it into the mx plus b. Boop! Solve for b and it's over. Okay, so you have your example worked. You have the steps previously. So I will upload a sheet for you to do and we'll go over them in our virtual room. So... Hopefully this was clear and understandable.